Hey, welcome to the show. Today I'm going to take an proper fraction and turn it into an improper fraction. And then I'm going to show you how to take an improper fraction and turn it into a proper fraction. This right here is a whole number. Four is a whole number and one fourth is a fraction. All right. So to get a better understanding of this, let's draw this out. I'm going to draw apple pies. I love apple pies. So I'm going to draw four apple pies right here. All right. This is dealing with this whole number right there. So I'm going to draw my four apple pies. And then I have one fourth of an apple pie. So I'm going to put that right here. I'm just going to do another big apple pie, but then I'm going to put a slice right here. Just like that. I'm going to outline it with my black uh, permanent marker here, just so you can see that this is one fourth. All right. So that right there is one fourth. Now I have four apple pies and then one fourth of an apple pie that I ate. I was sure hungry to get a better understanding of this number right here. This is an improper fraction. Let's take these apple pies and I'm going to divide them into four pieces. Okay. So I have four slices right here, four slices right there, another four slices here and another four slices here. I did not take away from any of these. All right. There's it's still four apple pies. I just cut them in half. I cut them in four pieces. So let's and these and these pieces right here. This is one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. Same thing. All right. Let's go ahead and count the one fourth pieces of my pies. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 right here. I have 17 one fourth pieces and that would equal 17 over four. This is an improper fraction. You usually would not say this. You would say, four and one fourth. All right. So how can you, there's another easy way on how to get this number right there. All right. I can take, let me move my paper up here a little bit. I'll put another paper right here. You can take four, I'll bring that up and one fourth, and I can take four times four, which would be 16 and then plus the one. So four times four is 16 plus the one, which would be 17. And you would keep the same denominator, 17 fourths, which would equal right there, your improper fraction. So what happens if you do get an improper fraction? All right. So here is my improper fraction fraction <laughs> this, I'm getting a tongue tied here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide. All right. So I put 17 right here, divide it by four. So how many times can I put four into 17? Four. You bet. Put the four right there. Four times four is 16. Now we subtract and a remainder of one. We take this number right here. This will be our whole number. All right. And we take the remainder, which will be our numerator and the four would be our denominator four and one fourth, which would equal that number right there. So once again, we can take this number here and turn it into an improper fraction. And the easiest way to do that for me, is to just take four times four, which is 16 plus the one is 17. So that's 17 fourths. 
And if we want to take our improper fraction and turn it into a proper fraction, we would divide. We would take 17 divided by 4. And we did that right here. 17 divided by 4. And we take the uh, answer here would be 4. This would be our whole number right there. This is our uh, numerator. And this number here, right there, is our denominator. And this is a great visualization right here to show you how many one-fourths there are. So if we had four apple pies and one-fourth, we had 17 slices of one-fourth right here, 17 fourths. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm talking about apple pies. I'm just getting hungry. I, I love apple pie with a little bit of Cool Whip on it and some uh, a nice cold glass of milk. I wonder what your favorite pie is. You might put it down in the comment. Let me know. Hey, I hope you're having a great day out there. Stay safe. Keep learning and have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.